I'm interested in the 11.6 rear shock for my bike, but I'm concerned that I'm going to lose the playfulness or poppiness of my current air shock. This is a question that we sometimes get through our customer service department, and so today we're going to talk a little bit about that. When it comes to mountain bike suspension, we have air shocks and we have coil shocks. Air shocks have the reputation for being poppy or playful, while coil shocks have the reputation for just small bump sensitivity and ground hugging traction. So today, let's take a look at what the performance parameters are that actually give you those characteristics. So air shocks have the reputation for this playful or poppy ride characteristic. But what is it about the performance of an air shock that delivers that? Well, some riders may think it's the air spring with the progressive air spring of an air shock. You're loading up the air spring and then it's returning back a lot of energy. Other riders may say, well, air shocks tend to have a broader rebound adjustment range. And so you can open up the rebound, making it spring back faster. Well, the reality is that those do contribute, but the main factor for making an air shock feel poppy is actually the friction generated by the air spring system itself. With an air shock, as you know, you have to pressurize the air system. Static pressures can be anywhere between 150 up to 350 PSI, and that's before you even start to compress it. So in order to contain all of that high pressurized air, the manufacturers have to use a large diameter, large surface area seal system. And this seal system creates a lot of extra friction. That friction actually can mimic additional compression damping and even rebound damping. So while that friction is a large contributor to that playful and poppy feel, it's also what gives the air shocks a reputation for not having great small bump sensitivity or that ground hugging traction. So we've talked a little bit about the air shock. Now, let's take a look at the coil shock. In contrast to the air shock, this 11.6 does not use a high pressurized air system. Additionally, we use a single small surface area seal for containing the oil in the shock. Very, very low friction. In addition, our engineers spend countless hours developing systems and testing different materials to produce the lowest friction results we possibly can. This is how we get that great small bump sensitivity and not to mention ground hugging traction. So I know what you're thinking. I just made the case. Air shocks, poppy, playful, 11.6, small bump sensitivity, and ground hugging traction. But it's not that simple. So while we can't do anything about the extra seals and the friction that they cause in an air shock, with the 11.6 coil shock, we can increase the damping to give a more playful and poppy feel. This is simply done by adding in some additional low speed compression damping. And it's quite easy because it's right here at your fingertips. Are you looking for a little additional firmness without robbing too much small bump sensitivity? Simply turn the adjuster clockwise two clicks. If you're looking for a really aggressive pump flow jump line trail setting, six to seven clicks clockwise on that same low speed adjuster will really firm things up. So we've determined you can in fact get a playful and poppy ride characteristic out of your 11.6 coil shock, but it will come at the expense of some small bump sensitivity and even some traction depending on how you have it set up. Or do you have to compromise? Cue in our patented dual overhead valve system. All the performance, none of the compromise. Simply put, our dual valve system allows you, the rider, to have two completely independent and unique ride settings that you can toggle between on the fly. One valve set up with that extra low speed compression damping to give you that poppy, playful feel. And when the trail turns really steep and really rugged, simply flip the lever and go into a completely unique setting that's plush DH plow mode. 11.6, poppy, playful, and still with ground hugging traction. You get to have the best of both worlds. If you have additional questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer them. And maximum grip, comfort, and control, and all these other things that I was gonna say, and it's too much. Can achieve that popple, popple? <laughs>